I've possibly come across the absolute worst thing I've seen on the internet and heard in music. Girls like boys, girls like cars and money. Boys will laugh at girls when they're not funny. And these girls like these boys, like these boys, like these girls. The girls with the buddies, like boys with the rug. Okay, I'm gonna stop this right here. Who told them it was okay to post this? Who said it was okay to post this? Who said this was good? And they decided, they watched over this video and they decided to hit the release button on TikTok. The people that blessed us with this video is this upcoming emo band called the Tramp Stamps. I had to find out more about this, so I headed over to their Twitter. Basically here, they said that people were accusing them of being industry plants. And when I looked into these accusations, I'm gonna have to agree. But we're gonna get into that in a second. Anyway, they were asserting that if you think that they're industry plants, you're just a sexist pig, and you should turn yourself into the Montreal Police Department for committing an internet hate crime. Except this isn't the case. There are plenty of talented female artists that had genuine come-ups. Industry plants ruin the genuineness of modern music as a whole and take away the spotlight from people who worked hard to get to their position. Their argument of being independent and everyone else being a sexist hater for thinking they're industry plants falls apart with one Google search. Their guitarist is signed and the whole band has credited a publishing company that has ties to music legends like Paul McCartney. They try to make the argument that a publishing company is technically not a label, but let's not be fooled here. Their entire persona just screams industry plant. Besides their vocals being very basic and flooded with auto-tune, their lyrics are abysmal. I'm not going to sit here and read these lyrics off and tell you how bad they are because the lyrics, they speak for themselves. But the song is trying way too hard to be edgy and alt, and they're desperately trying to relate to teenage alt girls. And that's what industry plants do. The industry makes them target a certain demographic, and they just go completely overboard with that target stereotypes to bring in an audience. Considering this like to dislike ratio, it's safe to say that their approach did not work. But did this stop them from being pushed and pushed? No, it did not, because they appear on several Spotify playlists that independent and upcoming artists don't just appear on. And that's a little concerning. You know what's even more concerning? Their fan accounts. Now I can't verify if these are true fan accounts or these are troll accounts, but their message history on Twitter seems like they're actual fans and they had one outlier message basically this fan account photoshopped the tramp stamps into a photo of the stonewall protests which were pro lgbt protests in the 60s i don't think i have to explain what's wrong with this but it's extremely disrespectful to put a garbage band onto a big moment of lgbt history i'd rather listen to a 2006 honda civic try starting up than listen to this band this band has done as much for the LGBT community as I've done for the Flat Earth Society. I'm going to wrap up this whole deal with one more clip from their TikTok. We are not fetishizing people of color. We realize that we are white girls um, and we're not trying to remove ourselves from our whiteness. We, we wrote the song because we realized we had a similar... Um, poor sexual experience with a straight white guy with the same name. And that's what the song is about. It's basically just a dramatic way to tell men to be better in bed. Holy cringe. I'm just speechless from that. I'm, I want you guys to let me know what you think in the comments, because... Okay. All right, that's that's basically all I have for you guys. Wait, 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 wait. I'm getting a call in. We actually have a special guest here to perform a song. Uh, he calls his band the Carrots. Uh, I wasn't expecting this, but I'll let him perform. Here he is. 
Thank you, Docus, for letting me on the show and close us all off. And to the audience, my name is Lil Docus, and I'm part of the band The Carrots. And today we're going to be performing our hit song, I Hate White Men. And we got here purely from talent and no help from the industry. Without further ado, me. I hate 